click, click. Hello everyone, this is Taka from BigHeadTaco.com and I'm here in, it's not central, it's just past central, but it's this is cool area. I'm here to visit Annie Barton or Barton 1972, the super cool strap company, because everyone knows how much I love straps. So let's go in and talk to both Victor and we'll see if Carmen wants to talk with us, AKA Annie. So let's buzz in and let's, let's see if we can meet the team here of Barton 1972. Hey guys. Victor, how's it going? <laughs> long Sorry. time, long time no see. How's it going? Doing good. Excellent, excellent. So let's, uh, we're, we're, we're here to visit you and your most Welcome. excellent store. Thank you. Uh, it's kind of messy though. No, 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 no. This is not messy. This is, uh, this is just, it's, it's just perfect. We try. Everything is perfect. I think everything, it's almost as if you, tr you placed everything exactly where you want it. Well, we have no sense in designing interior wise, but like we like to buy stuff <laughs> and we just and you just you put, know, put it, it wherever whatever. You want. like like that Texas Leica, the Fuji the film, Fuji film G X six ninety six ninety W on the floor, Victor. That should be in a glass glass case somewhere. Well, we do. Uh, we have the 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 the, the Rolly Flex. Um, we, have, we have everything. We have you know, these. Yeah, we we we're, we are here to talk about something that you actually have to make money from. Oh, right. Uh, which is, what, 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 do you, what do you do again? Um, what well, is Annie Barton? Well, Annie Barton, first of all, Annie Barton is a shop. Annie Barton is the name of the shop. Right, there's this place this, here. This space, and then um, the Barton 1972 is... Those are the camera straps. The straps that you are famous for. <laughs> and <laughs> you, you are famous in Vancouver, so we are pretty far away. We, I see guys with these, these weird, do you call them the braided straps? Yes. And at first I thought they were like plastic rings. They were so symmetrical. Oops, sorry. They're so Please. symmetrical and like, um, you know, like a snake skin. It's just so perfect that I looked at it and I thought, how is this leather? It, it's, it looks it, like a lot it's of work. Six strands of leather pieces six strands. braided together in a three dimensional Wait, it's uh, quite honestly, it's a pain to make. Is it? Is it really? But they're beautiful to look at, though. But these these are beautiful straps, and I love the contrasting, like the the navy and the gray. That's beautiful as well. And this is this the same name? That's a whip. It's a different type of braiding. It, it's it a lot is simpler. A, it is a whip? Or you're saying that's the name? Oh, well, I, that's the name of the the strap. Oh, I see. <laughs> so the strap is not a whip, but that strap is called the, the whip. whip. The whip, very right. good. This is now. This actually looks like a snake. The scaly ones. The yeah. scaly ones, yeah. But these are very cool. Like I know you. Um, I was talking to Carmen, and she had mentioned that you are uh, the sole distributor of Gordy straps for Hong Kong. Yes. Yes. And China. Oh, and China as well. Yep. Very good. So that's a that's a pretty decent gig because Gordy straps are pretty famous around the world. I think they're the best. Really? <laughs> no, you, no, yours are the oh, best. Well, yours are the best. <laughs> but but it's nice as well that you do have your own house line. Like you know, you this is your own puppy, your yeah, own project. Th this is our project for sure. Yes. Um, the reason being, we all started like um, about like six years ago. Yes. You know, we were like going to you know retailing. Yes. And then we were like we could we didn't know at that time you know exactly what we were gonna do. Yes. Um, so we started like two of us, me and Carmen, we started asking questions like what exactly do we want to do? Mm. Um, well, obviously we had no idea back then, okay? Um, but we started asking questions saying like, what do we like exactly? Mm -hmm. And then... And what was that? Tra traveling. You <laughs> love traveling? First, first thing. First thing. Know. Even but before like, cameras? Even, well, hand in hand. Well, hand in hand. Yeah. I mean, like we we like cameras because we like to travel. And oh, there you go. See, so yeah, they're connected. They're connected. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but like we we, we don't want to. What what, what, you know, what can we do in terms of like travel traveling? We mm. don't want to become a travel agent. No. You know that's. No. You know, we, we don't. You know, nothing we about agents. it. Yeah. So I thought like okay, number two, we like cameras, and back then we do have quite a bit of cameras. So back thought, then. Like, yeah. You have more or less from back then. I think you have more now, don't you? I. Yeah, probably more. Yeah, we'll, we'll see yeah, that in a minute. More. We'll oh. see how insane of a collection. <laughs> yes, and oh. are, are yeah. any of them for sale? No, 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 no. Yeah, no, see? No, no, no. None of them are for sale, but it takes up 80% of the store. But I anyways, am. yes. Sorry. Um, Well, we look at the cameras, but we, you know, 
we don't want to deal or sell cameras. Mm. So I thought like, okay, we should start making straps back then. Like accessories for Accessories, cameras. exactly. That's, uh, we start working on the designing yes. and the production. And this is a very cool it. design. Nobody else, I'm actually surprised someone hasn't copied you from China and stolen your idea because this is, it's like, I bet you it's a lot of work, right? It is a lot of work. Yeah, um, this is beautiful. I really like this. That, that is completely from design and business sense is yeah. because like it's a pain to make. It's, is it really? Uh, it is. Um, roughly, it takes about like, around like two to three hours per oh, strap. Oh, really? Just I'm, I'm gonna literally just braiding grabbing it. More here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, it's not very, it's going to be a uh, pain to actually copy it. Yeah, like that's what I was going to say. If, if they can copy it, not just China, but any country. Yeah, any country that, and, you know, sneakers, if there's something that's cool, mm -hmm. you go to Hong Kong, there's Hello Kitty fake everything, <laughs> right? Because it's easy to fake. But this is a lot of work and craftsmanship. It is. And like a nice watch or a nice camera, mm -hmm. most of those third-party guys don't even try because it's too much work. It is. It's not worth for the amount that they're going to try to sell it at. Let's just say, uh, so something gets retail US, how much is it? That's what, roughly about like 89 bucks. 89 bucks, very good. So then if they're gonna sell it third party, they're gonna have to try to sell it for 20 and then work out the labor for the, you know, the labor. It's not worth, it's not worth their time, it's not worth right? It. So that's, so, so I'm happy there are people like you that spend the time, look at this pink and gray. It'll match. <laughs> if you have an iPhone 6S Plus or whatever, and then you get like a Pentax, you know those little tiny cute little Pentax. Oh, those are nice. The yeah. QS1, yeah. get a matching pink strap. Oh, for sure. Come on. It's and we were Look kind of that. boring with the, 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 the just black or the brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you have cool colors. I like the, the blue and the, uh, yeah. the gray as well. The Those are the yin yang. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah. Oh, the, 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 the this two is the yin yang as well. The oh, two colors. Good. Oh, excellent. But you also do uh, make, uh, do you make the bags or are you just a distributor for the bags? Some the, of your wax, the the canvas. The one. bags. Yes. These are the wooden craft we, you know, we work on with these guys earlier on because yes. these guys started off with making straps for the pen or eye. Oh, okay. And oh, then, like the watch straps. Exactly. But you do sell some here as well. Yes. Yes. And then they started making these camera bags as well. Exactly. We started working together, like, you know, oh. give them the feedback, etc. Oh, so very good. on it. And voila. This is not the whole complete collection. No, but of course. You have some bigger ones as well. Ah, it's right up there. Oh. But this is the first generation one. The whole thing is leather. But the thing is big, huge. Well, but some guys, like, you know, my producer, he has got his big Ona bag here, which Ona makes nice bags, but but this size, you know, that size, guys who shoot video, which you do as well, yep. you, sometimes you do need those larger oh, kind for of sure, bags, for right? Sure, for sure. So that's actually a good thing to develop, because those guys are the ones that want to spend the, the three, four, five hundred dollars, because that's what it costs to get a proper size bag. For sure, you need to, you know, hold the, 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 the tripod, well, they're, the bar, not only that, but they're a big bag. But you sure. know, you're probably carrying four, five, six, seven grand worth of equipment, you're not, you're not looking for a $50 bag. You're looking, for a for sure. you're looking for a decent, I would say at least 10 to 15% of the value equipment should be spent on your camera bag. That's for sure. That's, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, a decent yeah, yeah. camera ratio. You wanna look good as well. Yeah, and you wanna look styling. Yeah, exactly. Of course, and that's a styling bag. For sure, for sure. Very good. For sure. So we're talking about the business side. So let's talk, <laughs> now let's talk about our, what we both really wanna talk about. Cameras. Cameras. So, <laughs> so, one of the first things I noticed, of course, is that, that Texas Leica that you have on the ground. Mm -hmm. But but then I noticed something else. Can, can, you, can I grab it? You want to grab it for me? What do you like? Just help yourself. Well, let's look at the first one here. Now, ah, North, in, in, in North America, everyone knows this as the Hasselblad X-Pan. But really, it was made by Fujifilm. Mm -hmm. the, and it's not the... This is... Oh, look, what a coincidence. So I have the X-T1 but this is the original TX1, okay? And this, you have the 40 on here, mm -hmm. and you also have the 90 as well. Yes. And there was a 28 or 35? What was it? What else? I think that's a... There's three lenses. 35, I think. I can't remember. I don't the have nerds, that lens. Nerds comment, correct us, <laughs> because you don't have it, so you don't know which no, one. No, no, I've been looking for that lens. But, but I think the 40, the 45, to me, that's what I want, because it's the most linear it is. of the lens. It is. Right? The other one, I've tried it, it's just way too wide. Almost like a fisheye. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, not a fisheye, but like, I, I find that uh, the too subject wide. too small. Mm. So I don't like yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Or it's gonna one. be really close. Yeah. Right? Um, now, a lot of people might not know that this is a double, I can't open this up because Victor still has <laughs> film in here, but uh, a regular 35 mil frame uh, negative is 24 millimeter by 36 millimeter, but this takes two 
I don't think it's exactly two. Not exact, 24 August. by maybe 24 by 65, I think it is around there. 24 yeah. by 65, so 65 millimeter wide uh, negative across this way. So if you think about it, Hasselblad is a six by six mm -hmm. square. Mm -hmm. That's 60 centimeter wide. So on the width, this actually has more resolution than a Hasselblad six by six. Yep. Which and it's a 35 mil film. It's a 35 yeah. mil. So yep. if you want to get into wide angle, medium format resolution uh, photography for landscape, this is actually better than the Hasselblad if all you're thinking about is resolution. Because yeah. you have more negative width going this way. The landscape part. The landscape part. And the also the street part, photography. Yes. This is good. Yes, actually. it is. Yeah. I've seen some. Have you done some street work with this? I did, but I don't seem to remember where I put those films. Ne negative? That would have to be another episode. <sighs> If I can find them. Yeah, we, well, you have, yes. I use both and positive and the negatives. You have, this uh, is the positive oh, E100 VS. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good. So you got to be very careful with exposing this. Well, for the transparency, yeah, for yeah. that one, it has to be precise. Yeah, of course. There's no you got like a there. half half stop, well, I usually, one stop leniency. I like to um, overexpose it by half a stop. Yeah, yeah. Of, of course. Yeah. For a positive, you overexpose. For a negative or even a digital negative, like a raw yep. file, you underexpose. Slightly, yep. Exactly. So very good. So this is a beautiful camera. You have, uh, you have, uh, what is that? Um, I'm going to, you have two Leicas in here. The one that's all, um, the, uh, oh. the brassing. <laughs> the the brassing. brassing. I did the brassing myself. Oh, did you really? <laughs> yes, I did. Oh. Well, this is, you sanded, uh, you sanded I, it. I sanded it. Oh, did you really? So I tried to abuse us. This is like the original MP. Well, not the original. Not the original. I can't afford the original, but this is, well, I did trash this part. And um, so it's pretty worn out. Yeah. And um, so you just got like, sandpaper? I just used the sandpaper to sand it even more. Th and this is way cheaper than, remember the Lenny Kravitz had his special oh, edition? Yeah, where yeah, they, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Did it, but then they charge you like an extra, what was it, like a few thousand dollars? Sandpaper, 75 cents. <laughs> Phone Victor, email Victor, you can make your own Lenny Kravitz MP. Lenny Kravitz Lenny. Yeah. I don't mind getting that one. No, this this is way better. But So this is an actual MP. This is an actual um, MP, yeah. What's the, do you, you know what the magnification is in here? For this one, it's, it's, uh, not, it's this is a regular one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, it's a standard one, right? Because you have a... Oh, cool. I don't okay. remember. This is a standard one. But I'm looking at it. You have a 35 mil. You see the frame lines here? Yeah, yeah. So 35 goes almost right to the edge. To the edge. Yeah, so it's a standard one. Yeah, this is beautiful. Like I thought, this was like an old classic. And then that <laughs> this is an M one. This is an M three. Oh, you have an M three in there as well. Beautiful. And yep. I, I also like that you have a Bessa as well. Oh, I you're love not, that. You're, you're not a snob. You know, it's oh, like Leica only. Oh, no, 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 some no, guys no, are. No, no, no. no. You're I, not a snob. I just you like generally like cameras. Yeah. So this is an M three. This is an M three. Uh, early or late? Is it a double or single late. stroke? Oh, uh, so it's a single stroke. Double. Oh, so oh no, double. wait, no, sorry, sorry. This is a single stroke. Single stroke. Right. It's long. Yep. Well, it's actually not that long. No, it's not that long. It's actually, good. it is a double stroke. Wait, is it? Yeah. Wait, then. It's a double. Oh. Where do I put my another one? His other M3. I... Oh wow, you have too many M3s. Oh, I don't know. I don't collect them. I just, you know, I like to play around with them. Yeah, yeah of course. What? Well, I don't know, but I swear I, I didn't take it. it. But <laughs> don't check my it? bag when I leave. Mm, okay. But, but M3. <laughs> so you have two M3s. Let's see the serial number here. Where's the? Where do you keep the serial numbers? Um, somewhere, like somewhere around here. All the nerds are like yelling into the camera. There you go. So it's a That's 800. A yeah, it's beautiful. Like I, I've wanted an M3 for a very long time. Maybe really? we can discuss later. <laughs> but this is nice. Yeah, the brightest. I mean, it's the brightest, the biggest viewfinder on an any M one. ever. Yep. Right. Yep, sure. And you can see the 50 mil lines. Beautiful. It's nice and bright. It's simple. Excellent. All right. So let's. <laughs> oh man, this is. Uh, this is so awesome. You got a Ducati camera as well. It's a Ducati design. It's a Ducati design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I got that one recently from Did you eBay. Really? Yeah. Um, I have no idea how to use this guy. Really? So maybe someone could tell you. So Ducati, if you obviously guys know, right? It's, it's a motorcycle. The Italians actually for the longest time produced the most motorcycles out of any other country. People would assume it's Japan, right? But up to a few years ago, uh, they said Italy made the most two-wheel motorized vehicles, which includes mopeds. Not the mopeds. Yeah, okay, I think okay, now okay. probably China would be number one. But it would be like China, Japan, and Italy. Italy. People don't realize that, but they... Ah. So the Italians are really good at making motors. Like even fish tanks, the little motors and fish oh, tanks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Italians, Italians almost rule that market. Oh, really? Yeah. When we talk about it's cheaper, it's, if it's too difficult to copy 
Chinese won't copy it. The, 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 you know the motors? Mm -hmm. Most of them are still made by, they're all made in Italy. They make them so good and so reasonably mm -hmm. priced that China and other Nobody countries don't even bother it. even trying to copy it. Smart. Yeah, so Smart. Ducati camera. This looks like a, some 110 or something, eh? You know, and this is made in Italy too, wow. I don't even know how to open this guy. Yeah, so anyone who knows how to shoot with this, let, let us know, comment again below. We're gonna have a lot of comments about all your cameras <laughs> in here. You know what, instead of playing in here, can we just leave this out here like that? Sure. Instead of playing in, can we play in your office? Because that's actually, <laughs> actually before we move on, I mean, you have Iron Man. I like to buy these toys as well. Yes, um, very cool. I like we've it. We've got more inside. We got more. I know, I saw that. So let's let's head to the back. Let's go. Walk past your Texas Leica. Walk <laughs> past your Leica uh, video uh, sort of the, 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 projector. The slide projector, yep. And here we are in the back of, <laughs> of, of Annie. This is, this is where the magic happens back here, right? This is our office and our storage. And, and your storage and your works and you, you know, have an animal. Yeah, that's here. a. Hmm. Is she busy guarding your desk? She is very busy guarding my desk. Uh, yeah. And uh, sugar? No. Sugar. Sugar. Yes. Hello, sugar. Yeah, she looks grumpy. All right. No, well, she's not grumpy. She's really. Oh, very good, very good. And um, <laughs> I think I think Carmen is busy working. So I guess we will leave Carmen alone. Yes, so we will leave Carmen, a.k.a. Annie, alone as she works very hard to make money for this business, as, as you do as well. No, 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 she's, she's the boss. <laughs> very good. So, so when I first came back mm -hmm. here, the first thing I noticed, the first thing I noticed was, what's, what's, what's with that like? Uh, oh, that's, uh, what's with that? that's a tiny little a la carte with the MS Optical. Yes, now... For those of you who are aware of MS Optical, it's a, it's a boutique Japanese yeah, for sure. maker, mm -hmm. and he produces maybe 50 to 100 lenses a year. He doesn't produce that many, does he? He doesn't produce that yeah, no. many. Did you have to wait for this one? I know people. Oh, you, <laughs> you know people. Yeah, I know people. All right, so, so he knows people. So Victor, you got this MS Optical, but, but no, but not just that, but the, the I love this, uh, now you, what do you call it now? A la carte. A la carte. This is an a la carte uh, wrapping on this. Mm -hmm. Beautiful job on this. And this is an MP. P. Yep. It's an MP. So um, MP does not have metering, right? I think so. No, no, not with this guy. No. No. No metering. No, no guy, metering yeah. on here. Yep. It's fully mechanical, which a lot of the Leica nerds, that's why they like this, right? <laughs> it's, it's very simple. Well, I bought this because it looks so nice. It, it does look very nice. And the truth is, I don't know anything about this guy. You don't know anything? I bought it. I never really like, spent too much time using it, so. You not spent too much time or you have not spent any time? Any time, actually, for this guy here. So I've kind of, I've been this kind is, of bad. This, this has zero kilometers. Zero. Zero kilometers yep. on this beautiful a la carte mm. MP. Have you shot with this lens at least? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I love this lens. How, how's, the, how's the rendering on this 28? So 28 F4. Well, the rendering is superb. Um, is it really? This is a tested design, so it's nice and crispy and sharp. Even at F4. Even at F4. Because I've, I've seen some of the MS, um, uh, the their uh, optical, their mm -hmm. their famous 50 mm -hmm. 1.1. Oh, I have that one. Do you too. have that one? It's not that sharp, wide open though. No, it is glows it? Just, quite a bit. Yeah, the, it, it the has purple this, fringing and yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, this yeah, yeah, exactly. The right here. You have that too. Yep. How did I miss that? Is that on the what body? Oh, that's on the M9. This is no, this is a monochrome. Oh, the original. The first generation. The first first gen monochrome. Yep. It's a pain to unscrew. Yeah, but it's beautiful. Thing. It is nice. It is. It's it, like it's driving fun. an old Italian sports car. <laughs> yeah, it's a hassle. True. But once you're on the road, you're you're enjoying it. Wow. Yes. And the, the beauty about this is the aperture ring. It's it's almost cinematic, right? Because it's it's there's no clicks. You it's can, smooth. You, it's, it a, is. it's a smooth yep. aperture ring. So have you tried this shooting video on your? For sure. On yeah. Your, yeah. It glows quite a bit. It glows. Yeah. So you have to be in very controlled lighting. And. Uh, and control lighting and um, wide open, it's uh, it, it's very difficult to yes, uh, focus. Yes. I know someone back in Vancouver mm -hmm. that has it. He loves it, but he's like, I don't shoot it at, at f1.1. Yeah. Yeah, you got to stop it, it down, right? So at what do you like, f4? No. F8? I, I want to start, you know, I like to, you know, start at 2. F2. For this For, for this, this guy, guy. and yeah. you're pretty happy at f2? Yeah. Yeah, yeah and f2, it's still, yeah, wow, look it's at that. It's pretty huge. How many blades are in there? 
What's that? It's like 18 blade. That's a lot, it's eh? Nice, perfect circular. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is the, good. A lot of the circular aperture rings are like nine blade. Man, alive! This thing it's looks. Probably more, I think. Look at that. That I don't know how many rings. Again, nerds, just write down how many <laughs> ring. But yeah, that's that's not nine for sure, eh? I can't. It's count, not nine. I for can't sure. count past ten. So <laughs> this is definitely. Yeah, this is a beautiful lens, and this is a beautiful. I like the. Well, I mean, the Monocle? screen resolution is horrible, though, right? Two hundred and well, sixty thousand. I, I have the M8 and. Uh, I saw my M9. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And one of the reasons is I don't Point. like the screen. Yeah, yeah, and, exactly. Uh, but I still don't like the screen. Yeah. But I was, I actually but looked the, at but the, the monoclope. Wow. Beautiful. This yeah, is one yeah. of the best lenses, our know, camera that I like. Yeah, yeah. Because this is yeah. the best. Have you tried the new, the, the, the Type M246? I dare not. I dare it's not. It's beautiful. I, 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 I took it for a test drive. Mm -hmm. I, ISO 12,500. It's fantastic. Beautiful. I'll show you. I should ISO? Yeah, you can go even higher. Go up to twenty-five thousand. But at twelve, at twelve thousand five, oh, it's still really nice. It's very, very nice. Yeah. See, now, now you have to, you have to upgrade. Okay, so <laughs> no, I gotta we'll, it then. We'll, we'll put this back here safely. We'll put this back safely. Um, man, we could spend days in here. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is your, is this your working counter? Like this. This is, is my working you, counter. You, you um, grab and go, right? Uh, no, actually, this is where I film. Um, these well product shots or yes. product video. This yes. is where I work. You know, with the lighting and the the, the bars and oh, the wow. yeah. and all oh, that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You got all the stuff. Yeah. Um. Because you are seriously now. What's the your name of your YouTube channel is? I think it's called Annie Barton. It's called. He thinks it's called Annie Barton. <laughs> Check it out. I'll put the link down below. But you you got into so you love photography. Now you're getting into videography. I'm learning. And yes. You're learning, and you have a. This is actually a really neat setup here. You have a GH4. But you have an M adapter. Is this a screw mount adapter or just No, this is the M mount. M mount, yeah. Yep. And you have the uh, 35 F2 Sumacron. Sumacron, yep. Pre, pre, it's not as for, oh, this is the made in Canada one. Leeds. Made yep. in Canada. There were a few Leicas that were made in Canada. And this Actually, the lens good. as well. This yeah, you really like good. this one? For yeah. The price, it's very good. Yeah, exactly. And you shot video with this. Well, I just started playing, yeah, shooting it. Yeah, how, how do you enjoy using the this Leica lens? This is good. This yeah. is, well, the Leica lens, I just like, I they're, did they're very, one. They're very cinematic, aren't they? This one. Which one is that? This is a Summilux. Oh, yeah? This is really good. You know, it goes really well with the monochrome. Yes. And this guy shoots really well you for the video as well. You filter though, Victor. I know, well, you know. Did you have McDonald's <laughs> just before you shot with this? I know, I you know. Have to, you I, little... I tend to abuse my, uh, uh, um, these things. Oh, but, you know, but you know what, you have a proper B plus W. B plus W, yeah, those are yeah, made yeah. in Germany. Yeah, it yeah, matches. Yeah. And you like the, did you, can you shoot at F1.4? Yeah, for sure. For video. This is good. Yeah? This so is you're good. about, if you're this doing people's faces, you're about like this, 1.4, shallow depth, you, you can handle it, eh? You can handle that for shallow. For that one, yeah. I can, yeah? But not with the 1.1 the MS Optical or no. the other one, which is um, no, uh, one SLR Magic, it's 0.95. Zero, yeah, 0 0.95 that is crazy. Is impossible. I shot with a Noctilux. Mm -hmm. You can't, you have to do rapid fire. Uh -huh. Noctilux. You gotta go yeah, and, then, yeah, and yeah. move a little bit, and hopefully and one will be in. Yeah. It sort of defeats the purpose. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't like it. So, Victor? Yeah. We're, we could be here for days, but I wanna check out one, one last thing. We should be talking about straps in your business, but but no, it's but, more fun. These yeah, yeah, straps fun. are boring. Right, so let's, <laughs> <laughs> straps are boring. Let's, let's get it. Are, this is very tiny, but you have to hold the door open. <laughs> yeah, Victor, what's up with this? You have a four hundred two eight, and you have the a. The truth is, the, the, the these are my true favorite cameras and lenses. Yes, look, look um, at this brass. Um, well, brass barrels. Yeah, these are the. Well, this is a. This is not a petrol lens. Belongs um, on a pirate ship. What? Okay, go, give, grab something that you really love. Like, like, okay, I love this Cook lens. What is that? This is a large format lens. Yeah, well, like a four five or eight ten. Well, this guy will cover four five. Um, wow. Portrait distance, it will cover eight ten as well. So this is a leaf shutter, obviously. For sure, yeah. And so the PC sync terminal is built onto the lens, not onto the body. Yep. Which is amazing. The shutter is here. You have to click release. It first and then release yeah, it. Yeah, very good. It goes from T stop. Actually, these are shutter speeds. Mm -hmm. What F stop from four, four five, five to ninety? F ninety. Wow, that's amazing. And I mean, you have tons of lenses in here. Uh, we have. Well, those, those are my favorite. Oh, really? Uh, and you got Dorn a five. Have... This is a four by five. Yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah. Actually, four uh, five by. This no, is uh, 
German, obviously, or Swiss. No, this is American. Is it American? It up, yeah. Wow, look at that. Oh, she says Chicago, Illinois. Yep. USA, beautiful. Excellent. This is supposed to be about your business, <laughs> but we ended up talking about cameras. It's more fun. It's more that fun. One. Yeah. So, Victor. Yep. Thank you so much for having me on your in in your store. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. Carmen is out there working. She's working I think hard. So. Yeah. I'm the psycho she's a hard working guy. <laughs> yeah, she is. But you know she's serious, but she she's also fun. Yeah, she And she, she lets you buy all the stuff. That's the best part of it. Yes. Oops. <laughs> yeah, what, did, did, well, that's a good thing. You said that's, a good thing. Yeah, yeah, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. So hopefully um, we can shoot an, another episode with you either now or next year. But uh, you have, we have so much. We have episodes of just talking about your cameras. But your channel, Annie Barton, YouTube channel, uh, Annie Barton, the store. The store. Barton 1972, the straps. Uh -huh. If you're in Asia, buy the Gordy straps through your store. <laughs> Come on, we're going to make you some money here, right? <laughs> Thank and, you. And the bag, who are the bags made by? Wooden craft. Wooden, wooden craft. And... Well, actually, this is a prototype. Prototype? Yeah, okay, that's, well, prototype. that's next episode. Yeah, next episode. Yeah, very good. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, do you want to grab a ca quick camera here? Grab this one here. Yeah. I always aim at the camera, and then I go click, click okay. to finish. Is that all right? Sure. All right, so thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Happy shooting. Click, click.